All right, y'all, how are you feeling? Come on, let me hear you out there. Come on, y'all. No music, no hype. Here's let me tell you what's going to happen because I went long. That's one of those messages. I apologize for going a little long. We're going to give you just a couple of minutes to, if you have questions, make sure you have downloaded the app that you are volunteering, but we're going to stay in here for about 15, 20 minutes to answer any of your questions. I'm fixing to go to Robin right now so she can tell you a little bit more about the bricks, and then I'm going to go to my brother, and then we're going to talk to Christy A. about child care and all that stuff. So you can hang out if you want to. If you've already volunteered, that's good. If you want more information on that, that's what we're doing right now. It will go online tomorrow. But Robin, talk to me about what's going on with these bricks and other things yeah. I didn't cover, other things I didn't include. Oh, you did pretty good. You did pretty good. You covered a lot, Justin. So... Um, regarding the bricks, they are not something that you can buy here today at the municipal or even in the weeks leading up. You come on, yeah. um, physically, you can't put them in your hands. You're going to get them on Easter. So okay. on um, Easter, anybody who's bought those online will have those available to you. And that's why on Easter, I need a great do good experience team because we will need volunteers to help um, hand those out, collect funds. People can buy them on Easter in the room um, or as they walk up. But then we also will need a Do Good Experience team for that. And then we need a whole team that is building this structure. We've got the best in the business. Bobby Stevenson is helping design that. And what that's going to look like, we don't want to give a whole lot of that away and all the things that are going to happen. But it's going to take a lot of people to um, put all of this together during the service yeah, so on if you're, Easter. Yeah, if they're wanting to know, basically what we're going to do is we're going to pass these bricks to the floor just so you kind of have an idea. Yes. They will build a memorial or a wall of remembrance, and you will write your loved one's name on there, and it will be a part of the service. So there's a whole do-good team that is available on sign-up. I think she's got some yes. of those people going on. But when you click Easter Volunteer, you go, oh, I want to be a part of that team. It's going to be first come, first serve, but that right. lets you know that when we get in that environment, that's how that happens. It needs volunteers, and there's volunteers to sell the bricks, to pass the bricks out. All of that happens on Easter, so this is why when you sign up, not only can you participate and remember your loved one or celebrate their life in this unique way, you can be a part of actually doing the great service of building the wall together in the service, which would be yes. Awesome. awesome. Yes, so we need about 30, 35 people per service. Um, to be a part of that team prior to the service, during, and then at the end when we build the, the wall. It's going to be awesome. awesome. So yeah. take a lot of people to do that, but it also takes a lot. We It won't look very cool if we only have 10 bricks up there. We've <laughs> yeah, got you, you 2,000 go that we yeah. would love to, for people to participate by those in a way to honor somebody. Um, so we need both, both for that day. All right, so let's get yeah. ready to go to Christy A. Then I see her back there. So let's talk about a little child care because not only are we going to do an awesome do good project, which you can buy your brick now and reserve it, go ahead and do it, and then we'll pick it up on Easter. But let's talk about child care. Christy A., you are getting yourself in position because there are a lot of needs and there are a lot of people trying to figure out where they're going to serve. I've told a lot of people I've met with, it is. The main thing is child care. That enough. means we need you all the things. Yes. So, so do you have an idea of how many people you do need? Oh, yes. So this is exciting. We're finally going to have classes back for, for our simple kids. So we'll have babies, toddlers, preschool threes and fours, and the hands and feet class, which is kindergarten through fifth grade volunteer kids only. Okay. So if parents volunteer to serve, there is a class for their kids to join them. Yeah. Um, so we'll need uh, like almost 100 volunteers yeah. per um, Saturday and Sunday. A lot have signed up. So we are even over the weekend since our last numbers, um, many have signed up. We still have needs in toddlers and preschool threes and fours and check-in. Okay, so y'all okay. hear what she's saying. If you're watching online, and this may be on Monday that they're watching this or sometime this week, you just download the app, go to the app, click on Easter Volunteer, and then check the toddler room or hands and feet. Is that what you said? And no. then there was one more? Preschool. Not hands oh, and feet, oh, sorry. preschool threes and fours. Yeah, preschool threes and fours. Uh -huh. Yeah. And um, behind oh, you were our needs Wednesday when we turned these in. Uh, we still have, we've gotten some more in by the, yeah. since then. Um, but those are the biggest things. I think outside activities are pretty much full now. So for the record, those numbers are what you were hoping to get, right? So it would be Saturday you need nine, Sunday you need six. Let, yeah, that's yeah, what that's, we still need. Right, I'm just saying because okay. it's mm -hmm. not a time. If you're watching this online, right, you're right, like, right. is that 9 a.m.? No, that's 
That's how many total volunteers we still need. Yes. So check in on Saturday. We're looking for 12 people to help with check that's in right. on both Saturday and Sunday. And then outside activities, which is the fun place. Man, that's where all the Easter egg hunts are, all that stuff. We need 10 people per day to get signed up for that. So if you're signing up, you're going, well, what's the need? Or there they are. There's, there's some of the numbers of where you can click on Easter volunteer and sign up for one of those areas. It will help us out a lot. we still got a couple of weeks, but we want to get this done yes. sooner rather than later so we can be at peace. We yeah, we got to get our t-shirts ordered. Yeah, we got to get our t-shirts. We need your sizes for t-shirts. And yeah. we have to do background checks on anyone yeah. that serves with our kids. So yeah. if you <laughs> want to serve in any of those areas, then we need you to sign up now so that we can get that done. Right. Come on, Safety keep, for keep Christy up on the screen for me. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. Oh, you lost the camera. Okay. okay, so yeah, you're looking at the other one now. There you go. So, yeah, so what were you saying about background checks, Christy? Yeah, so if you think you might want to serve uh, with our simple kids, then we do need you to go ahead and sign up now because we have to do background checks. Anybody that serves with any kid area, outside or inside, will all need background checks done. Perfect. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Anything else they need to know, Chris? We're trying to make sure we use their time. Is uh, you're, you have another meeting coming up next week that we did in the pre-show? We talked about. Yes. So uh, next week um, we'll meet with everyone that has uh, signed up to serve in any simple kids area, babies through preschool threes, check-in, outside. And that way we'll just give you all the details, make sure your background check's cleared, your name tag's ready, and you know exactly where to go to serve. Um, just the last thing I just was going to say yeah. is if, you, um, if you're new to volunteering and you have kids that age, your kid can be in a preschool class while you're serving, even if that's not during service. So if yeah. you're helping outside, um, you are helping in the cafe, your kid can be in that class. And then maybe you're going to serve on Saturday, but you want to go to church on Sunday. Um, if you have a baby uh, through preschool three, they can be in the class the other day as well. Yeah, that's cool. That's that good. makes sense. Yeah, yeah, that's great. All right, give it up for Christy. Anything else, Christy? That's good. So you're like, you're glad you're not on camera long. You're like, all right. Yeah, I'm fine hey, you with can, that. You can email Christy too if you have more questions, but the main thing, so we know how many shirts we're ordering and we have our number fulfillment yeah. is sign up through the app or online so that we can get those classes Take care of them. We know how many uh, are coming. Organized and ready to go. Yeah, and when they sign up, uh, we are going to make our classes smaller. So yes. the faster you sign up to serve and to enroll your kid in a class, the more likely you're going to have a spot because we are limiting class sizes this yeah. time. Yeah, to be, make so, sure with COVID we're safe. being safe. All right, so let's go to John Hagler. Then good job, Christy. We're going to go to John, and let me tell you why we're going to John. Angie, you ready? John is Logistics 101. Three semis of equipment get set up, torn down, moved from one lake location to the other. Everything to be coordinated from even the way we do our buildings, which yeah. was in the message. John coordinates a lot of that with Chip so that we're municipal today. We're a convention center. We're CenturyLink or Brookshire's Grocery Arena. We make it all happen. So, John, let's get into some specifics of volunteering for those big bowed up, look at that right there, son. Hold on, yeah, let me get that. Look at those that. That's gun, son, right Woo. there. Yeah, you like that, John? We got <laughs> that bicep in the Hagler family, son. Mm. Come on. Uh, all natural, too. All natural, all son. Natural. Yeah, you don't, you don't get this. Uh, this ain't no steroid induced, son. No, sir. This is 100% hey, natural. Natural. John, I, gotta, I did throw you under the bus about your. Uh, you heard. did win, congrats. I did. But you ate jalapenos for four days. I did. Okay, we can't get into that right now. This <laughs> okay. is about, because people are going to even know what we talk I about in pre-show. I just felt bad throwing him under the bus. Hey, if if you're watching sis. this, you know what we're talking about. John won the uh, biggest loser in our office. You have Hashtag to watch the pre-show. Winner. That's all that matters. Yeah, you have to watch the pre-show and know what's going on. All right, let's get back right. into volunteering, John. Tell me yes. about it. A couple of unique things this year that we've never done before. One of them is health screening, the survey, the questionnaire. Ray Rainey's going to be our point person. There's going to be some on, tents Ray. on the edge of the parking lot. 20 people per service needed for that. Okay. Brand new opportunity, a lot of fun. Let me tell people. you how easy that is. Are you ready? So you go, man, what does that look like? You're going to ask people to show their phone what they've got their health survey. So when you walk by, let me see your phone. Come on in. Good morning. You got your Very health simple. survey? You got your tickets? Come on in. That's how easy that job is. That's right. So all, it's not doesn't take a lot, but we got to have enough people out there for uh, Brookshire's Grocery Arena. That's one thing that they want us to do, and it helps them out to know it's being done. So if you're going, why are you doing that? We believe it's a good thing, but also Brookshire's Grocery Arena is like, man, that would be great if we just know they got a ticket and they got that health background form filled out. Remember, this is the largest gathering of people since last year in March yeah. in our area and, and through any building structure. So we are trying our best to do everything we can to help them 
uh, make it a success too so we can yeah. keep going and get more and more open. Can I get an amen on that? Amen. That's right. You don't want to be a problem creator. You want to be a problem solver. So yeah. that helps, but it's just simply showing your form or showing your ticket. So good idea, John. All right. Another quick thing that's new this year is we are going to be setting up a lot of the stuff in the Brookshire Grocery Arena ourselves. So we're going to be doing the chairs, the pipe and drape, the table. So that's going to be the Tuesday night before Easter. It's going to be kind of a physical night. So if you can handle lifting stuff and carrying stuff and pulling road cases, 6 o'clock Tuesday night before Easter, we probably need 15, 20 guys to show up that night for that. Okay, and That's we're going to do one on Thursday. And too, then correct? Thursday night's more of the decorating, setting up the cafe, getting Building the baby signs. room set up. So two nights that week, usually it's done Saturday morning. But since we have a service on Saturday, it's going to happen on Tuesday and Thursday night. Yeah, and just so y'all know, that we put it on the screen for you. Here are some of the things John helps oversee as well. So Robin does the Do Good team. John has the cafe with Ricky and Annette and Barbara and all of them. And then you have greeters, ushers, parking lot. That's Brian Reed. You look at how many people. You can use 50 people uh, for Saturday and 48 for Sunday. And then the health questionnaire, you see at 19 and 18. These are all areas where you're going, well, where do you want me to serve? Or what are the needs? These are just some of the examples because you got to know if you're coming so we can get your shirt ordered, make sure that you have your shirt, and then also make sure that we can handle the need of the people coming in. All right, one last thing. Sure. Sunday, Easter Sunday, it's all got to come down before we leave. So anybody that can kind of schedule themselves to hang out as soon as that service is over, the more folks we have, the faster we all get to go home. That's and we would appreciate right. that. All right, so yeah. here's the deal. If you're in here, you're watching online. If you're in here and you stayed, thank you for staying. If you're watching online, thank you for watching. This is your call. Get signed up. Spread the word. If you know your group you used to serve with before, spread the word with them and say, hey, man, we're coming back. This is what we need so that we can begin to see these numbers go down. And then we'll give you an update next week. But you got a week to promote that so that you can know what's going on and get everybody filled in and all of the needs met. All right? John, is there hey, anything yeah, else? Yeah, one last thing. Yeah. I know the mask thing is kind of annoying, but hey, you can have fun with it. Evan got us some raccoon masks. Oh, yeah. Now, yeah. if you don't know about his raccoon yeah. mask, he feeds a raccoon every night. Every night. So he waits he, at the door for us yeah, now. What's his name? Rocket. Rocket. And you better hope to God he don't have rabies. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. We'll be seeing you. He wouldn't have rabies. He wouldn't. Oh. He'd be out in the daytime. There's if he no did. way. But, yeah, you can have fun with the mask, and if you're wanting to know what's going on, remember, it's just walking in and walking out, but when you're sitting down, you take all that, you don't have to worry about that that's if you're in the arena. So it's just a matter of, that's another Brookshire Grocery Arena thing that they're asking for, so we want to be a part of that as well. So know that all those protocols are in place to keep you safe and yep. try to get us moving back as soon as possible, because this is the largest event they will have had since March uh, of last year. So right. we got a chance right. to do it right and not mess it up for them. All right. Yep. That's it. All right, John. Good job. Come on. Right. Thank, Give you, a little Thank you, guys. All right. So is there anybody else that has anything that needs to be said? Y'all let me know because we can edit this down. So what, there will be some editing on this one. All right. Is there any question in this room that I could help you with that would maybe uh, that we can put online that maybe you have? Because we're just about done, if not. If you get the volunteer form, you do not have to go and request a ticket for you or your family. In the volunteer form, it tells you, it saves you a step. We try to make it easier for you. But if you have somebody coming with you that's not volunteering, they do need to fill that form out as well. It's all on the app. You can click right on there. It says volunteers. It's super easy. You go through and fill it out, but you don't have to double up and do both. Perfect. Okay. That'll work. Good That's info. all we got. We're trying to make it easy. Now, next week, we're having a, a family ministry meeting in here. All right, so this 30 minutes after next week is going to be Christy A. and her team making sure everybody knows what's going on. So if you have been on that team before, if you're watching at home now, get here next week in this room. Christy wants to see you. She wants to get you your uh, updated information. She wants to make sure everybody is ready to go. And then we want to make sure we have enough shirts and background checks and name tags, all that stuff. Because it gives us a couple of weeks before Easter. We don't like waiting to the last minute if no. it's at all possible. So make Too sure if you're watching plan. online, come on, all right? Other than yeah. that, we love you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being a part of it. Sign up now. Get your tickets. We're looking Sign forward to, to seeing volunteer. you in person. That's going to be awesome, man. Till then, baby. Peace. Peace.